the geometric design of roads is the branch of highway engineering concerned with the positioning of the physical elements of the roadway according to standards and constraints. The basic objectives in geometric design are to optimize efficiency and safety while minimizing cost and environmental damage. Geometric design also affects an emerging fifth objective called livability, which is defined as designing roads to foster broader community goals, including providing access to employment, schools, businesses and residences, accommodate a range of travel modes such as walking, bicycling, transit, and automobiles, and minimizing fuel use, emissions and environmental damage. Geometric roadway design can be broken into three main parts, alignment, profile, and cross-section. Combined, they provide a three-dimensional layout for a roadway. The alignment is the root of the road, defined as a series of horizontal tangents and curves. The profile is the vertical aspect of the road, including crest and sag curves, and the straight grade lines connecting them. The cross-section shows the position and number of vehicle and bicycle lanes and sidewalks, along with their cross-slope or banking. Cross sections also show drainage features, pavement structure and other items outside the category of geometric design. Design standards, roads are designed in conjunction with design guidelines and standards. These are adopted by state and national authorities. Design guidelines take into account speed, vehicle type, road grade, few obstructions, and stopping distance. With proper application of guidelines, along with good engineering judgment, an engineer can design a roadway that is comfortable, safe, and appealing to the eye. The primary U.S. guidance is found in a policy on geometric design of highways and streets published by the American Association of State Highway and Transportation Officials. Other standards include the Australian Guide to Road Design, and the British Design Manual for Roads. An open-source version of the Green Book is published online by the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research Office in Zimbabwe. Profile The profile of a road consists of road slopes, called grades, connected by parabolic vertical curves. Vertical curves are used to provide a gradual change from one road slope to another, so that vehicles may smoothly navigate grade changes as they travel. Sag vertical curves are those that have a tangent slope at the end of the curve that is higher than that of the beginning of the curve. When driving on a road, a sag curve would appear as a valley, with the vehicle first going downhill before reaching the bottom of the curve and continuing uphill or level. Crest vertical curves are those that have a tangent slope at the end of the curve that is lower than that of the beginning of the curve. When driving on a crest curve, the road appears as a hill with the vehicle first going uphill before reaching the top of the curve and continuing downhill. The profile also affects road drainage. Very flat roads and sag curves may have poor drainage, and steep roads have high velocity flows. Equals terminology equals. Equals sag curves equals, sag vertical curves are curves which, when viewed from the side, are concave upwards. This includes vertical curves at valley bottoms, but it also includes locations where an uphill grade becomes steeper, or a downhill grade becomes less steep. The most important design criterion for these curves is headlight sight distance. When a driver is driving on a sag curve at night, the sight distance is limited by the higher grade in front of the vehicle. This distance must be long enough that the driver can see any obstruction on the road and stop the vehicle within the headlight sight distance. The headlight sight distance is determined by the angle of the headlight and angle of the tangent slope at the end of the curve. By first finding the headlight sight distance and then solving for the curve length in each of the equations below, the correct curve length can be determined. If the SL curve length is smaller than the headlight sight distance, then this number can be used. If it is larger, this value cannot be used. These equations assume that the headlights are 600 mm above the ground, and the headlight beam diverges 1 degree above the longitudinal axis of the vehicle. Equals crest curves equals, crest vertical curves are curves which, when viewed from the side, are convex upwards. This includes vertical curves at hill crests, but it also includes locations where an uphill grade becomes less steep, or a downhill grade becomes steeper. The most important design criterion for these curves is stopping sight distance. This is the distance a driver can see over the crest of the curve. 
if the driver cannot see any obstructions in the roadway, such as a stalled vehicle or animal, the driver may not be able to stop the vehicle in time to avoid a crash. The desired stopping sight distance is determined by the speed of traffic on a road. By first finding the stopping sight distance and then solving for the curve length in each of the equations below, the correct curve length can be determined. The proper equation depends on whether the vertical curve is shorter or longer than the available sight distance. Normally, both equations are solved, then the results are compared to the curve length. Sight distance curve length. Sight distance. 